How's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a marshmallow mask out of everyday household materials. So first of all you're going to need to start with your tools. Um, your main tools are going to be uh, the saw, sander, and spray paint. Spray paint you're going to need for the outside and you're going to need a, a sealer as I just showed. So I provided for you some templates in the downloads as I'm cutting out right now. I'm, I have the eyes. You really only need to cut one because you can just copy it over to the other side. And there's a new updated mouth template that I have also included on there since the first one didn't fit on the sheet of paper. Um, there's a new one showing right there. So after you have these cut out, uh, grab your bucket and take your bucket. So this is just a five gallon bucket and you're gonna measure out on there. You're gonna measure out a center line and you're gonna take the tape around the bottom because we're gonna be cutting that bottom chunk off because it looks sloppy. Um, so measure about, I think it's 10 inches down, 10, between 10 and 10 and a half, and that's where the tape is going to line up perfectly. It just so happened the masking tape is going to line, and you're going to make three parallel lines like that. And the parallel lines are going to be three eighths from the center line. You're going to draw it out in either direction, and then you're going to trace the eye, which is about three and a half wide by four tall, as shown there. And then there's about two and one fourth uh, inches from the top of the eye to the top of the bucket. So then you can just trace the two eyes as shown right there. Now you're going to trace the, the mouth. So basically just line up the mouth. And I think it's, I don't remember exactly, I think it's three, three fourths from the bottom of the unit. But um, you can see what looks best. It's not exact. So then cut the buck with a saw. Very, very easy. Just make sure you take your time and line it up. Um, after the bucket is done being cut. So that's this is when you're going to... Uh, first be sanding uh, the top part. Since the marshmallow flat is very smooth on the sides, you're gonna want to take around. You're gonna want to take off that rounded edge on the top. So you're gonna. I took a metal cutter because it's very sturdy, and I made some indentions in there, and then I just cut around the outside. So it's gonna be pretty sloppy at first. Um, so just give it a cut, and know that you're gonna be sanding it later, and also along that with that that ring at the top and the text on the side. It's all gonna be gone in the end. I would not try sanding it right away or using a knife because it will scratch the helmet which I messed up on the first one. Um, so here's the sander. You may not have that sander, you'll just take your time with hand sander, but uh, this is the one I used because it sped it up a lot, but hand sanding works fine too. As you can see there's the, the paint still on there um, and the top is very smooth now so that's what you're going to want to see. Uh, so you're going to want to take off the top part and all indentions. Alright, so you finish sanding, now is it's time to cut the eyes and the mouth. So you can do it with a knife. Um, there's another tutorial on YouTube where the guy does it with a knife. It's, it takes a long time and it uh, it's hard on your hands, but I mean it's very possible if you don't have a Dremel tool. But a Dremel tool is what I used. Uh, as I'll show you a little later. But anyways, I got the power sander as you can see to the the left of me on in my right hand. I'm gonna be sanding the outsides just to kind of smooth everything up because you're gonna be wearing your head and you don't want to like cut yourself with the rough paint. Or, and you just want the overall appearance to look good if you're going to be taking the time to do that. So I did a combination of knife blade and sanding to get it really smooth along the top and along the bottom, as you can see here. And then this is, this is the time where I started taking away at the paint, as you can see right there, and it's gone. So I put the bottom of the bucket back on to kind of like give it support when I was cutting the eyes. This is a good idea. You can also cut the eyes before you take it apart. Um, but then the sawing is kind of hard. So as you can see here, I'm taking the Dremel and I'm Dremeling it out very carefully. I sped it up like 12, 1200% or something like that just to speed it along and keep this video shorter. Uh, but as you can see, I'm taking it off the eye and I'm kind of like checking with the other eye. You don't have to be 100% exact because you're going to be sanding, but you want to be pretty straight on with what the template is because the template I made are pretty accurate. I took it from an actual picture, scaled it up and sized it properly in Photoshop. So now you're going to want to be taking your sander and just sanding around the, the cuts you just made and make them fairly smooth. They don't need to be super smooth yet because we haven't even started painting. But um, you, can either, you can either sand with your hand or you can take a Dremel and uh, throw a sanding unit on there and sand around, which I did, which made it a lot quicker. But you can also use sanding paper. I'd recommend 80 to like 120 grit for now. Um, lower the grit, the harder the sandpaper is, higher the grit, like 1,000. That's what you're going to want to use in your final thing. So here's the final mask with no no paint on it yet or no um, eye shields at all to give it the black look. So now I'm going to be painting. So first layer of paint, you can either do, you can really do any color. I just did white because I, I bought a bunch of white paint. Uh, make sure you get, you get it completely clean before you do it. 
Um, as you can see here, uh, I'm sanding off the paint first layer. I did five layers on this, uh, four of white paint and then one of the gloss you see here. The gloss gives it a nice look and it's also like a sealer. So it won't get bumped around when you're at music festivals or any other place like a party or something. Because obviously I'm going to be wearing this out on Halloween because it's, it's it looks really good. So you can see the shine. You can, you can see it start to take form. There's still a couple imperfections, but those will all be fixed in the end. So this is where you want. I, I bought some window screen. Um, you're only going to need about... I guess 12 by 36 of it. It's not a lot. I paid like six dollars for that total, and you need a small chunk. I think I did one. Uh, so I did one layer right here. So you hot glue it, but make sure you don't get it around the eyes because the hot glue will seep through the seams in the eyes and it'll make it have a very bad appearance. Then you just cut around. I did one more layer of that, and as you can see here, I'm cutting like a see-through cloth. Make sure you get a see-through cloth that you can see through, but that's not like uh, the stretchy like morph suits where you can't see through them. Um, this this is overall it's really good with the screen and also this um, so one layer of this and one layer of the screen uh, works and I also I think I did two so here's a foam I just got like a foam thing and just started like molding it to my head around uh, the inside of it um, put the foam on um, scaled it. it's really like how big your head is my I have a very small head so I, did, I used a bunch of foam at the top but just make sure it sits nice the hat thing I saw it doesn't work very well but this stays on, as you can see, I'm gonna be shaking my head around right here. It stays on really nice and you can jump around a music festival and it's actually really comfy. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you have fun making your marshmallow mask.